Every time I do leak videos, I always talk about the upcoming update, but this video, I'll actually be telling you guys what we plan to do in the future, the biggest updates that we're planning on adding to the toilet tower to things, and the future of the game. So, um, if you don't like and subscribe, uh, then Palm Paradise is going to attack. Quick, you gotta do it, or else, uh, look, uh oh, Palm Paradise is attacking! No! Alright, well, that's God. Anyways, you should also comment your ideas for the game and like the comments of the ideas you like and then I'll check the top comments and see what a lot of people want to be added. Here are the plans for the future. So right now we're working on the Christmas event. All the units closed are done. The map is most likely going to be done today and some of the units are already done being scripted. So just the rest of the event needs to be scripted a little bit more. UI needs to be made. So the goal is still December 9th for that releasing. But after this update, Day, most likely another episode will come out because there's a new episode three days ago It seems like there's one every week and a couple days So the next one's probably gonna be out within the next few days of the Christmas update So we'll work on that but after that we're gonna start on the New Year's update So the New Year's event is gonna be pretty small not as big as the Christmas event and the Christmas event will most likely last until like the end of January maybe around the middle of January but at that time we'll have a lot of time to pretty much do whatever we want so we're gonna work on getting endless mode out in january so here is what endless mode will probably look like i'm still not sure if we should add it as like a voting thing like every map you teleport to will have the normal easy medium hard and nightmare along with like endless mode so like five things to vote for because i mean there is enough room for it but i think it looks best with just four things and there are a lot of maps so some of the maps would definitely be a lot easier to do endless mode on and some would be a lot harder. So I'm thinking for endless mode that it should have its own area in the lobby. So you guys know how like each map has its own area. Well, maybe endless mode could be, although we haven't had a new map in a while. So maybe the next map could be like right here is endless mode. And there's probably going to be one map at first and then we'll add like a second map later. But the maps will have the same exact length of the pathway way so that it's like the same difficulty and then we can have like a leaderboard for the highest wave reached and stuff like that but that's the goal for january in february we're gonna have the valentine's day event but that's also not gonna be like insanely massive so after that in february and pretty much all of march we'll also have like no big holiday events so that's probably when we'll try adding a pvp game mode so how pvp is gonna work is the map is basically gonna be doubled or actually we'll probably make a unique map for those but there will be two paths that are not connected and you'll only get the money from what you fight on your path and it's gonna be like a mirrored so it's the exact same difficulty no matter what path you get and just the person to survive longer wins we might even add it where you can spawn enemies for money on the other person's side at that waves difficulty so maybe instead of placing a unit for $500 you can spawn an extra boss toilet on their side I don't know we'll see That'll be a pretty big decision, so most likely we'll have a vote on that. That might be too overpowered, though, because if one person brings farms and the other person doesn't, then they'll be able to spawn, like, a ton of enemies on their side. But PvP will basically also be, like, endless, where it will literally just keep going, but it'll stop once someone dies. And then you'll have a score that goes up, and then when you queue, you'll fight people around your score. So it will have, like, a, a queuing system instead of just, like, fighting other people in the server and then we'll probably add it where if you're in a vip server you can queue with your friends or something to fight them but we'll have to build a whole new area for that so most likely around that time i'll hire someone to remake the lobby so that everything can fit pretty well i mean i'm still looking for map builders to like build a new lobby or build maps and stuff like that but of course in april we'll have an april fools event then i'm not too sure what else we should add because i know i want to add endless and a pv PvP mode, but after that, I guess we can just continue working on optimizing the game, and we'll just try to do a lot of quality changes around that time. Actually, I, I have decided. I just remembered and we need to add something to trading, and my plan was like a server marketplace. So like, each server you join, there's a marketplace, and people can put up their units for sale in the marketplace for diamonds. So you can like hop between servers, and that'll just be 
a very easy way to like get units. I mean, we could do that or we could do booths for every player. We can have a vote on that too. But I think a server marketplace would be like the best option so you don't have to like run around looking at the prices of each person's things on the booth when other people in that server could be selling it for cheaper. So I just think a server marketplace makes like the most sense. And then we could also add like a server list so you can just teleport between the servers in the trading plaza. But after that, June, July, we'll have a summer event, maybe even like a school event in August and September, like all the pencil cameraman. That's when like school starts for most people again. And, and then Halloween event and then the cycle will continue. When the game first released, we got a lot of suggestions like right when the game released, a lot of people wanted us to add the Titan cameraman and then we added that. And then people wanted more maps, so we added that, Mythics, and we added that. So I don't think any units in the Skibbity Toilet series that got upgraded will be upgraded again for a while because if you guys know the upgraded Titan Cinema Man was the most recent unit to get upgraded so next will probably be like the cameraman and the speaker man and then they'll probably get upgraded again later so eventually we'll probably have a tier rarer than godly because I mean okay let's be honest godly isn't even that rare like 37.1 thousand exists the rarest unit is still spider tv with 7,000 exists and chef tv man 33,000 exists so if we added a rarity above godly it would be insanely rare but still like at least a few thousand would exist it would probably be about as rare as spider tv actually but right now we only have one godly so no matter what when you summon you have a chance to get it when we add more godlies they're most likely gonna get rarer so when we have a second one probably like 20,000 will exist after a few weeks but that will be a lot later in the future and also we don't have any boosting units which is what I'm planning for the next exclusive crate so the spider crate is probably gonna be gone whenever we have enough time to do that because Evan said he's gonna have to like rewrite all of the old units because the older units and the newer units are scripted slightly differently so the older ones would have to be re-scripted for boosts to be able to be applied to them so adding a support boosting units that like boost your range damage attack speed or whatever would definitely take some time to add so the spider crate's gonna be here for at least like another I'd have to say month but the Thanksgiving event is gonna end whenever the Christmas event starts which is again most likely just gonna be the ninth could be a little later than that we'll see I'll add a timer whenever we finally decide on something but as always subscribe with the notifications on and like the video let me know any big suggestions you have for the game in the comments and whenever we have a ton of time and have already done all the other ideas I'll check back on this video and see the biggest suggestions and we'll have votes on some of them but we're planning to add a lot more to the game right now again we're just busy with the Christmas event but yeah thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video